Welcome to the next lesson of the numerical technique. From today's to upcoming few lessons, we will be talking about interpolation. What is interpolation? Interpolation is a method of identifying or calculating or computing intermediate values of a function whenever some table values are given, some set of values are already given. Let's see with this example. Let's say we have a function y is equal to fx. y is equal to fx where x is the value of the years and respective to the, these years the population is given. This is y in thousands. So we can see in this table we have population of a place in different years. In, 1983, in 1893 we have 48,000. In 1903 we have 69,000. 1913 we have 83,000 and so on. Let us imagine if we want to calculate the population, compute the population in the year 1896. So we don't have here. So that is an intermediate value. So we use interpolation to calculate or compute such results. To compute interpolation or to compute such results, intermediate values, we have uh, many methods. And today we will talk about the Newton's Gregory forward interpolation formula. This is a formula well suited if we want to find out some intermediate value that is somewhere in the beginning. Let's say 1896, 1890, 1900 and so on. So the values which are in beginning to compute for those we use Newton's Gregory forward interpolation formula. So let us see the formula first. This is y of x where x is the questioned value, the questioned intermediate value for which we want to evaluate y. y of x is equal to y0. This y0 is the initial value, the first value. Like in this table, we can see this will be x0. This is x1, x2, x3 and x4. And respective to this, let's say this is y0. This will be y1. This is y2. This is y3 and this is y4. This is y4. So in the formula we can see this is equal to y0 plus u del y0 upon factorial 1. What is del y0? This is the uh, forward difference. We will talk about this. Plus u u minus 1 divided by factorial 2. Del square y0 plus and so on. The next term would be u u minus 1 u minus 2 by factorial 3 del 3 y0. And similarly we can compute the uh, coming terms. Let's talk about the nth term. This is u, u minus 1 and so on till u minus n plus 1 whole divided by factorial n del n y 0. Where this variable u, u can be calculated with the help of this formula x minus x 0 by h. What is x? x is the questioned value. Let's say if you want to calculate 1896 we want to get the population for the year 1896 so that 1896 will be the question value and that will be the x x0 what is the x0 x0 the initial value in the table so you can see this 1893 will behave as x0 and if we go further this is x1 x2 x3 and x4 so the first value of x is called as initial value that is x0 now what is h? h is the interval because this formula is applicable for equally spaced values that is equally spaced intervals. So equally spaced values or similar intervals. Let's say uh, in the table for x this is 1893 and the difference between 1893 and 1903 is 10. Similarly the difference between 1903 and 1913 is 10 and here it is also 10 and here it is also 10. So the Newton's Gregory forward formula is applicable for equally spaced intervals and here h is that interval. So let's say in our question what will be the value of h 1893 and 1903 the difference is 10 and it is 10. So the h in our case is 10 we will see while we solve this example. So in this way we can calculate u and uh, we will be able to calculate the intermediate quotient value. Now let's talk about this forward differences. 
forward difference is one of the finite difference that is used to get the values inside the interpolation. So just to evaluate these values del y0, del 2 y0, del 3 y0 and so on, we need to create the forward difference table. Let's see what's the forward difference table. So here we can see this is the forward difference table. Let's understand how is this created. Uh, we write the column x first. We write all the values of x and in front of we write all the values of y. The next column will be of first forward difference del y. The next column will be for the second forward difference del 2y. Next column will be third forward difference del 3y and next column will be fourth forward difference that is del 4y. And how many forward differences we have this will depend on the number of items given into the question. Let's say in R we have one, two, three, four and five data values. So in the forward difference table we have to go till n minus one. So in our case if it is five so five minus one this is equal to four. So that means we have to construct forward difference table till fourth derivative forward difference fourth forward difference so we'll calculate this till del 4 let's say if in our question we have a uh, 10 data values then till where we'll have to calculate forward difference we have to calculate till 10 minus 1 that is 9 that is del 9 y so we will calculate the we will construct the forward difference table till del 9 y so let's concentrate on the table let's concentrate on the forward difference table so in the first column we have all the values of x in the second column all the values of y now how this first forward difference is calculated this is del y the formula for this forward difference is del y n is equal to y n plus 1 minus y n so this is basically next minus current if you want to calculate del y1 so what will be the result y2 minus y1 if you want to calculate let's say del y3 then this will be y4 minus y3 so similarly we can see that this is del y0 has to be written in between these two lines y0 and y1 it should be in between it should not be up in front of y0 it should be not it should not be below in front of y1 it should be in between both these so what is del y0 let's use the formula what is del y0 this will be y1 minus y0 so what is y1 y1 is 69 what is y0 y0 is 48 69 minus 48 is 21 next is del y1 in the same column Obviously, we'll write this del y1 in between y2 and y1. What is del y1? You can see del y1 is y2 minus y1. So what is y2? y2 is 83. What is y1? 69. 83 minus 69 is 14. Similarly, next del y2. What is del y2? Del y2 will be y3 minus y2. That is 91 minus 83. That is 8. And last is del y3. What is del y3? y4 minus y3 that is 98 minus 91 this is coming 7 so in this way we will construct the first difference column now we'll come to the second difference column in the same way we'll be able to calculate second difference column so what is the formula for the second difference so the second difference del 2 y n will be calculated by del of y n plus 1 minus del y n so let us say if you want to calculate del 2 y0 then what it will be del y1 minus del y0 if you want to calculate del 2 y2 then this will be del y3 minus del y2 next minus current so now let's see how this second column is calculated del 2 y0 what is del 2 y0 this is del y1 minus del y0 that is 14 minus 21 so this is minus 7 what is del 2 y1 del y2 minus del y1 this is 8 minus 14 this is minus of 6 what is del 2 y2 
this is del y3 minus del y2 7 minus 8 this is minus 1 so in this way we will can construct the second forward difference in the same way we will calculate the third forward difference so this is del 3 y0 del 3 y0 will be equal to del 2 y1 minus del 2 y0 so this is minus 6 minus 7 comes to 1 del 3 y1 what is del 3 y1 del 2 y2 minus del 2 y1 so this is minus 1 minus minus 6 this is coming 5 and in the last column so this is del 4 y i have already told you like we have five elements so we have to go till the fourth derivative n minus 1 so what is del 4 y0 this is del 3 y1 minus del 3 y0 this is 5 minus 1 coming to 4 so i hope you have understood how we can construct this forward difference table you can pause and repeat the video to understand the construction of this table now we see that in the formula we have y0 we have to substitute del y0 we have to substitute del 2 y0 and so on that means we only need these y0 values so starting from here y0 del y0 del 2 y0 del 3 y0 and del 4 y0 so our required values are all these values So we only need these values y0, del y0, del 2 y0, del 3 y0 and del 4 y0. So this is uh, the required values from the forward difference table into the Newton's Gregory forward interpolation formula. So now let me save these values, all the y values and uh, so that I will be able to use these values into the formula. So let me write here uh, y0 is 48 del y0 from here del y0 it's 21 then del 2y0 this is minus 7 del 3y0 this is equal to 1 and lastly del 4y0 this is equal to 4. So we have all the values of del. Now let us calculate u because this is the another variable that will be used into the formula. So let's calculate u. u is equal to x minus x0 upon h. What is x? The questioned value. The questioned value here uh, we have assumed that the questioned value is 18. 96. So we have to find out the population for the year 1896. So x is it will be given into the question 1896 minus what is x0? The first value of the x in the table that is 1893. So this is 1893 divided by h. What is h? h is the interval in between the x values equally spaced. This is 10 in our case. So you can see that 1893 and 1903, the difference between is 10. So this is 10. So in this way, we can see that 1896 minus 1893, 3, 3 upon 10 comes to be 0 0.3. So the U value of U comes to be 0 0.3. So we have all the values. We have U, we have del Y zeros, we have Y zeros. We can substitute these values into the formula and can actually evaluate the value for 1896. So let's do it. Let me remove this forward difference table uh, and substitute these calculated values into the formula. So this is y at 1896 will be equal to, let's see. First, let's write the formula. This is y0 plus u del y0 upon factorial 1 plus u u minus 1 upon factorial 2 del 2y0 plus what will be the next term this will be u u minus 1 u minus 2 by factorial 3 del 3y0 plus we have to write the next term till where we have to write till del 4 so this is u u minus 1 u minus 2 u minus 3 whole divided by factorial 4 del 4 y 0 so we will not write further because 
we have only five data items so we'll go till del 4 y0 now we'll substitute all the values what is uh, y0 from this we can see that y0 is 48 so this is 48 plus u what is u u is 0 0.3 so this is 0 0.3 cross del y0 what is del y0 this is 21 divided by factorial 1 that will comes to 1 plus again this is u so u is 0 0.3 cross u minus 1 this is 0 0.3 minus 1 whole divided by factorial 2 this will come to del 2y0 what is del 2y0 this is minus of 7 plus next term u u minus 1 u minus 2 so this is 0 0.3 0 0.3 minus 1 0 0.3 minus 2 whole divided by factorial 3 that will come to 6 del 3y0 what is del 3y0 you can see del 3y0 is 1 so we have 1 plus the last one 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 minus 1 and I'm writing downwards here it's 0 0.3 minus 2 0 0.3 minus 3 and this whole is divided by factorial 4 that is come 20 Four. that will come 24 2 into 3 into 4 3 2 is a 6 6 4 is a 24 into del 4y what is del 4y this is 4 so this is 4 so we have substituted all the values we can use the scientific calculator and can write the actual result of this question so let me see what is the value of this final statement this is coming 54.93 so this is coming 54.93 so this will be the population in thousands in the year 1896